Let's make more of this plant. Hey, Lee here, helping you become a better plant parent, and this is a watermelon peperomia. Has anyone ever told you that you really need to take healthy cuttings when you're doing a plant propagation? Let's find out if that's true. First, take your cuttings from some large leaves. You can cut close to the base of the stem, but remember, these parts are not going to grow back, so make sure that your plant has some leaves to spare. Next, cut off the petiole as close to the leaf as you can. Then, you want to cut your leaf in half horizontally. And if you're wondering why I cut so close to the base of the stem of the mother plant just to cut off the rest of the petiole again, that's just because I didn't want this long leafless petiole hanging out of my stem. It's just for looks. I've sorted my cuttings into two piles, one with healthy leaves and one with damaged leaves from a spider mite attack about a year ago. To pot these up, you'll need regular potting soil and a container. I'm using a three inch plastic pot. Bury the leaf about halfway into the soil. Spray the soil so it's moist and not wet. You should try to increase humidity by putting this near a humidifier or covering the pot. I'm flipping these plastic containers upside down, but you can also cover it with plastic wrap. Uncover it every few days to let in fresh air and check to see if the soil needs more moisture. More importantly, put this in a sunny spot with bright indirect sunlight. It's been 77 days and I'm starting to see some really great growth from these propagations. So now that I'm checking in, I do notice that the growth from the healthier leaves is a lot larger than the unhealthy leaves. It seems to be that the most important factor is actually which part of the leaf I'm using. When I cut my leaf in half horizontally, there was the part that had the petiole attached and the part that didn't. It seems that the part with the petiole attached is rooting faster and I'm noticing that the parts of the petiole that were directly touching the soil when I planted them have rooted much faster. So make sure that when you are planting these, you are making sure that the part of the petiole is at least touching the top of the soil when you're planting it. With the final update after over 110 days, this is what our plant looks like now. While the pot with damaged leaves has produced more growth points from the different cutting types, including the front of the leaf and the back with the petiole, the healthier plant has produced the healthiest leaf, taller, larger, but not much else. So after 100 days, I've learned, um, uh, I don't know what I learned, but this was a fun propagation and I think it'll take a lot of patience from a prospective plant parent. What I do know is that just because some of your leaves are damaged does not mean that you should just chuck them. Give it a try and see what happens. Like this video if it was helpful and consider subscribing. See you next time.